For this lesson, we're going to concentrate on color grading within the engine. By default, we have a neutral tonality, which if you open your Woodlands example, it'll look exactly like this. What we want to do is create a new tonality through a color chart, which looks similar to a Macbeth chart, or maybe a uh, gray card that you would use in film. And if we shift these to tones or tonality, we can actually achieve a result of colors changing just based on this chart and not having to individually tweak a different material for each item. So it's very powerful and you can actually even change this at runtime. But to begin, we're just going to show exactly how we do it in the engine with the examples that ship. So we have our basic tonality and we need to change a few things. We need to go to the console and we need to type in under R underscore color and the grading we want to set it to true. So this enables us to actually find the chart and use it. And next we need to go to R underscore color grading chart image. And this actually references a path. So if I come in here, I have my game SDK folder, textures, color charts, and we can see that we have a rainy underscore CCH file. It's a typical DDS file. And what we want to do is target this path inside of this folder so then we can use this CCH. To do so, it's quite easy. We can just go to textures, color charts, and then rainy underscore cch.tf. So if I press enter, we've loaded it successfully, and we need to come down in here, and we're going to choose a new viewport so we can snap it in, and then we immediately see the effects of the rainy cch profile. So like before, if we come in and we disable this, r underscore color grading, and we set that to false, we then turn it off. So it's very easy to at least use the base functionality for color grading and how you can manipulate these values inside of your engine. So I recommend you go check out in the artist section where we show in Photoshop how you can create your own color swatch from pretty much taking the snipping tool and calibrating it on this and then using the stock BMP file for color grading to make your own profiles and use them exactly as shown in this video.